fourth quarter blues continuing for the Brooklyn Nets. They went through a stretch where they could not make a shot. Orlando gained some momentum in that fourth quarter. Nets had taken the lead, but the Magic end the game strong, and the Nets have themselves their sixth consecutive loss. Yeah, it's challenging to, to think about the fact that second unit gave some great energy, yep. a big push, took the lead by the time the starters got in. I think it was tied at, at that point or, or right around there. And then once again, we saw some of the same tendencies that have popped up throughout the course of the fourth quarter for this Nets team as of late, an inability to score and knock down shots and not getting stops at the other end. And I think overall this game, the fact that the Nets shot just over 21 percent from three 33 percent from the floor Orlando is a very good defense give them credit but the Nets got open looks clean looks not able to cash in and, and now it's back to the drawing board for Kenny Atkinson and this Nets group leading the rally for Brooklyn off the bench Timote Luwawu Cabarro and John and Musa who provided a bit of a, a burst for Brooklyn uh, ultimately, starters return in the fourth quarter. Nets just did not have many answers on offense, and a you know, problem for the Nets. doesn't really matter who the opponent is. At this stage, you're trying to figure some things out. But this began a stretch. Eight of nine games against teams that are currently in playoff position. The Nets are just trying to get a W at this point, and they'll get their chance against Oklahoma City on Tuesday night. And it's certainly not going to be an easy one, but for the Nets, what you want to see is just some of that confidence back and some of the belief. And I, I think when you watch them in the fourth quarters, you watch them throughout the course of the game, that's what you want to feel. And, and I know it's a struggle for individuals when you're not knocking down shots and not let it affect other parts of the game. But I think especially for this Nets group, the fact that they haven't been shooting at the efficiency yep. that they would anticipate that they believe they can it's filtered into some other areas on the floor whether rebounding turnovers getting stops on the defensive end and that's where things have really went awry and the shooting woes continuing for two players in particular with Garrett Temple and Torian Prince struggling from the outside that did not change against this Orlando squad Nets battled back but in the fourth quarter the Magic get it done behind a career night from Markel Fultz. And it's back home now to play the Thunder. Chris Paul, Shea Gilgis, Alexander and company in Barclays Center.